So my friends, so what I wanted to do actually, I never introduced myself, so um, my name is Paul, I live in Switzerland, I'm 50 years old and uh, started doing these videos now more than a year. I got inspired and I started watching YouTube videos and then I saw this, uh, this series, this German series, maybe you know it, it's called Seven vs Wild and uh, I was totally, totally was, it was so great to see that. So I wanted to see if I can do that too. Can be outside in nature, sleep outside without any tent and just try to learn all these things I saw in that video. So I got interested in that and I started looking at how to do a fire, how to set up a tarp. I looked at all the gear you can buy. That's how I started doing it. And I really enjoy it because you're outside in nature and you just got the time for yourself. So it's like the time stops somehow. It's, it's, it's you and, and nature and that's all. Really nice to do that. So I really want to emphasize to try it yourself. Try slowly. I usually now do it with my friend Yari because I think it's great to enjoy it with a friend. Maybe you have to have the right friend, which uh, you can go out and be just quiet. You don't have to talk. You just do your thing. You just, you know, he does his thing. I do my thing. Sometimes we we argue, but uh, it's nice to have a friend you can just go and rely on. That's really nice. That's why I do it. I don't need to do it alone. I don't. I don't really need it to go alone. So that's uh, my little story for you guys. So had a quick rest. And now the plan is: I would like to have some view of this when I'm in my hammock. So this would be the view I hope. And I'm gonna put up my hammock between this one and this tree. So I get started. The only thing is, I have to be sure that I have the entrance and exit of the hammock to the right side and not to the left side, or else at night there could be an accident. So, guys, I didn't want to show you how I put up this uh, hammock. It's so easy. It's like, you know, just putting this thing up, then check, check. It's not a great thing, not a big thing. So I, I didn't really thought you want to see how I put this up. I can quickly show you. So here, that's the ridge line so that this thing, mosquito net, is a bit further up. And you have these, I don't know what to call them, uh, things between. So that spreads it out a bit. And then I put my sleeping pod, which I pumped up underneath. So as a protection from the cold from below. And uh, maybe it is a bit exaggerated, but I'm having my Defense 4 sleeping bag with me tonight. It's going to be too warm, but I just want to be sure that it's not too cold. It is end of September, so we have the 21st of September today. Um, today is a lovely day, really warm, but I think at night it's going to cool down. Uh, so I'd rather be, say, on the safe side, rather having cold. I can still open it up if I'm too hot. So that's my sleeping setup. Uh, when I lie in there, I will show you later. Are we rest for the old man. Nice and comfy anyway. Oh. It's nice until you get here. And you look over there, and what you see is a drop. So, I'm not gonna go that I way. hope you don't. Your cords are not gonna be cut at night and you fall down. Oh. <coughs> so, tea time. Ginger pure. Cheers.
the knife goes down here. Guys, we've got, weißt du, so eine Technik gemacht. Das ist schon gut. Das ist voll das Loch. Ah. Another fire. Look at this scenery. So it is um, 20 past 7. We already started the fire, as we have seen before. For dinner, I will have something traditionally Swiss. Um, it's going to be raclette with some potatoes. Just here, start warming this up. Potatoes should be fine now. Huh? I'm going to take these out. Up a bit. My great pan and some nice mm. rock clip cheese. I'm gonna just blow it out. This one's ready, I don't want it. So, as you see, this cheese has so much fat. So, dinner's ready. I put in also a bit, you know, the black things are the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, as I forgot my fork, I have to improvise quickly with this thingy here. And I will just eat with that. It will work. Let's see how this tastes. I'm starving. My super improvised fork. Mm. Guys, look at this. Looks nice, eh? Gooey, nice, cheesy. A nice, perfect fork. Mm. So my Swiss rocklet was... Okay, I need some food. I was really hungry. I'm preparing myself a nice tea. And we're just chilling, looking down to the lake. Guys, quick update. We can't really show you, that's really <laughs> annoying. But we have a wonderful orange moon and we're really sitting exactly here in front of it. You can see it perfectly. In the middle of yeah, our view. It's exactly in the, exactly in the middle of yeah, our view. It's so over there, but <laughs> you cannot it's see that. I'm gonna, sorry. Uh, we're gonna put the picture. Yeah, in I'm gonna the video. put a picture in the video that you can see that. Ah really. Sorry for that. You know, sometimes at this time of the day <laughs> somebody needs to have a piss. Let's wait for it. Go, go, go. So my friends, it is time. We had a nice evening. Uh, food was good. The scenery was spectacular actually. It's really of the orange moon. I'm gonna head off to bed and see you tomorrow morning. Good morning in the morning. Still getting need to wait up. Need to wake up. Prepared myself a coffee. First coffee. I need to see the world as it is again. And now here coffee time. So as somebody else says, no coffee, no worky. <laughs> So, how was my night? I have to admit, this night was, I think, the best I ever had. Uh, despite that, I had some issues, which I'm going to explain you right now. Um, let me show you. 
the hammock was not leveled, meaning that I was always moving forward, which was not really good. And the other issue I had is that you have a sleeping pod just stuck in here below, and that one was moving also all the time. So what happened is that on each side, sometimes on the right, sometimes on the left, the cold came through despite being in the sleeping bag. The sleeping bag gets comprom compromised and then the cold gets through anyway. So that was sometimes noticeable. The sleeping bag, the Defense 4, is actually a winter sleeping bag. But I have chosen that one this time for hammocks you can only use actually in summer summer spring autumn when it's still warm and that's why i wanted to use it because i have no underkilt um, and only with the sleeping pod it doesn't work really well it works but in winter you're too cold you can forget it despite that i had a good night I had to go to the toilet about twice three times i think and uh, once i slept i slept <laughs> but i'm pretty happy with that because Usually I don't sleep almost anything, but this time was okay. Yeah. So breakfast fire is burning. Hurry. So we packed everything, as you can see in the back, nothing is left or else we left everything as it was before. Yeah, we also, his place, we've got all the rubbish we're going to take with us. The fire pit we're just going to cover also and then we're off to go down this way. <laughs> I'm pointing now, hopefully. We don't know, Yeah. not an official path or anything. Or yeah, anything. that's what we're going to do it, of course. Yeah. <laughs> So we'll show you on the way. It's going to be a wonderful way on the ridge, all the way down to the stream. And in if, it a doesn't, if it doesn't go anywhere, he's going to carry me up. Again. Yeah, well, that's just life of a survival, yeah, yeah. baby survivalist like we are. Yeah, At least. Look, look, this is a path. Okay, go. This is like a path. So I see, I see the path. It's going to be great. I see the light. So we came from up there. And now uh, we keep walking down. Slowly finding a way down to the car. So, still walking down, but still takes some time, just have to be careful. On the side, it goes down, and the pass is not very broad. So 
so we're I guess more than halfway through as you can see it's still very steep um, yeah <laughs> we just have to go on <laughs> There's no way up again. Well, not with me anyway. Guys, it's Sunday morning. I thought our adventure is almost coming to an end. But this is killing me now at the moment. This is even more than yesterday. All going this steep down is no fun at all. Well, I don't know how it comes across on the video, but it is quite steep. I mean, if I'm looking ahead, that's it. I'm looking down, that's, that's why I'm looking down. All right, this is Paul. <laughs> he needs to go up left because where I just went, it's completely vertical. Okay, so I just crossed this and it's almost vertical. And the drop is like 20 meters. And he has to cross up there so that he doesn't die. Yo, straight on! Then you get to the top of the ridge again. Here he comes. I made a completely unnecessary detour <laughs> and vertical ground crossing it. Oh, it was a bit of adrenaline, hey, nice. So now we're in the final stretch to reach the bottom. I'm gonna kill this guy. It's not my fault. It's part of the adventure. Yeah. Adventure. <laughs> Who would have thought the end of our trip is going to be the hardest part after what we've been through yesterday? Um, no one, but we're making it. We're passing this challenge. We will survive. Even if we are going to be battered, that's not an issue. So we just have to go down the steep slope again. What? You hear the, you hear the river? I can hear. So now Yari also fell down, <laughs> it's not only me, well I shouldn't laugh, but he wanted to get down here. Fucking hell, sorry. You okay? You okay? Yep. F that, F that. That's crazy. That's the craziest thing we've done. We finally see the, we see the light. I will, I will tell you afterwards, we see. Here's the clearing, down there is the path. Guys, I'm so happy. We survived. Yeah, we survived. That was a small survival situation actually because we really were not sure. Uh, I was close to death, really. No, it was close to stupid. So bring this into perspective. Everything we went up yesterday was the cable car. We walked down uh, in a very short period of time, actually. And now I can't walk almost anymore. And uh, I know that for the next two, three days, everything's gonna hurt. This final bit uh, reminds me of another trip I've made with uh, my friend Dave. I'll show you some pictures. The last bit, you know. That it's was super and steep was really and my legs are hurting. But I still will go and go because nobody's going to get me here. <laughs> so as this adventure is coming to an end slowly, I just want to tell you we started somewhere up there. So the cable car, you can see here, it's going up, 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 right up. And we went down, and I'm going to tell you how much, so I'm going to just check it, how many meters we went down and how many meters we walked for that. Uh, I will let you know. So, this was one of the, one of the coolest and exhausting adventure I had. I think maybe for a long time at least. <laughs> it was really great. And... Uh, had a really nice time, exhausting also of course, but this has to be. We had a great spot for the night, perfect view, some good food, and I slept not bad this time. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you enjoyed, I would appreciate a like, 
and if you want to subscribe it doesn't cost you anything but helps me a lot to maybe grow this channel so that I can make some more content for you guys so with that have a nice day see you next time bye bye